Hi, in this video we're going to continue talking about sketching in Fusion and I'm going to focus a little bit on the line and the arc tool. And so in order to work with sketch tools, you need to create a sketch. This button is the simplest way to get there. Again, you have to click the plane on which you want your sketch. I usually click the bottom and it spins to a bird's eye view, which you can change with the navigation box if you want. Okay, so you can see this shows the most commonly used um, tools, the line tools here. Again, all of these tools and more are underneath the create menu. So we're going to start with the line tool now. What some people have problems adjusting to, especially if they're coming from a drawing program, is it's really better to click when you're creating stuff. So I'm going to click and that sets the endpoint of my line. And then it shows me where the next portion of my line would go according to that crosshair. And then what can frustrate beginners is it continues, like the line tool doesn't really stop. I'll show you, there are three ways to get it to stop. And then sometimes accidentally you might stop it and you don't mean to. But you can see when I complete a line, there's an arrow, and if my mouse goes over it, that arrow turns green. If not an arrow, a check mark. So when the check mark turn, turns green, if you click, it will stop the line from continuing. But I'm going to go to the next, next point. So the second way you can stop the line tool from being active is to go back to the beginning. And that creates a closed shape, and the line tool automatically deactivates. By the way, right now to pan, I'm holding my scroll wheel down on my mouse and that allows me to pan without switching tools. Very handy. So I'm going to start another line. Again, I highly encourage that you click. So I'm actually going to put a chimney here. So if I click, I can keep clicking. See now right now if I click, it's going to stop the line, which is unfortunate because that's where I wanted to place it. So I'm going to click. It stops the line. That's okay. I can pick up where I left off. So it's pretty easy to continue lines. Um, one thing I do want to show you is that, so I've stressed clicking. If you end up dragging, dragging actually creates an arc. So I'm on this endpoint. If I drag instead of clicking, I'll get another arc. I Mm, I'm getting more used to it, but in general, if I want arcs, I prefer to use the arc tool. I feel like I have more control, um, and I'm not very good at dragging to create the arcs how I want them. I'm going to stop my sketch here. I'm going to collapse this. We're not going to use it right now. So it is possible with the line tool to draw arcs within the line you're drawing. It is equally easy. Whoops, I accidentally closed my sketch. So I'm going to expand my sketch folder and double click my sketch. It will let me re enter the sketch I just did. Come on. My computer's low. Oh, cancel. I was in a tool. Okay, so I double click this and I'm back into sketch mode. And the reason I did that, I, well, I accidentally did it, but. I'm going to get rid of that. So if I want to draw one line, I could draw one line. The third way to stop the active line is to double click. So if I double click on another endpoint, the line will finish itself. Um, and you can see there's built in symbols and as you're drawing, it will highlight where lines are aligned. These things mean that I have parallel lines. So those are constraints that or a little bit outside of the scope of what I'm trying to show you now. I'm going to go to the arc tool. There's several ways, there's three different ways to do an arc. I prefer the three point arc tool because that what that allows me to do is click one endpoint of the arc and then click another endpoint of the arc. And now, as I move my mouse without dragging, it's allowing me to choose the depth of angle I want on my arc. So I'm going to go right there. So again, I'm, I'm still in the arc tool, actually. If I click an endpoint, 
and then another endpoint. And I can choose my arc. Maybe I want that one to go that way. And again, since it's a closed shape, it gets this yellow fill a little bit. So the arc tool and the line tool are pretty easy to use. Um, but I really recommend getting used to clicking versus dragging because it's it's meant to be putting down vertices and creating the line between the two vertex points. Um, while I'm in here, I would like to show you that if you want to get rid of extra lines or if you made a line you didn't mean to, that's what the trim tool is for. The icon looks like scissors, but if I click the trim tool, when you mouse over any edge, it turns red. So if I mouse over here and click, I got rid of that trim tool. So I'm going to leave that here for now, and you can play with the line tool and or the arc tool, and I'll go into more depth with different parts in other videos. Thanks for watching.